What's up guys, how are you all doing? Welcome back to my channel. I have actually made a lot of interesting videos about mobile photography as well as DSLR photography in general. Now I have actually made a separate video about Canon 80D's tutorials. So that's the camera right now I'm having with the 10 to 18 millimeter IS STM lens. This is a pretty famous lens. If you want to take wide shots like landscapes, pictures and such things, I'll leave a link in the description section of this video for this lens as well as kit that I'm having. So guys, like I said, I have actually made several interesting videos you can browse through my channel as well as i will leave a link in the description section of this video so you can check that out as well so in today's video let's talk about taking hdr images now hdr as you guys know you might be aware of uh, taking in smartphones nowadays now basically in camera hdr gives you a lot of options and flexibility and that too in canon camera particularly you have the option to take hdr image in camera processing that means you don't have to post process it uh, like combining three or four shots of uh, multiple exposures and do all complexity stuff out there on the PC so instead the camera itself does everything for you and gives some really nice looking images so that's what I'm going to show in this video and before that I would like to give one suggestion or say tip do not take HDR images of persons usually because when you take HDR image of person that I'm pretty much everything it tries to cover like highlights and shadows and that doesn't give it a nice look again unless you are doing it on purpose so i suggest do not take person's hdr images rather you can keep that person in a landscape frame far away and then you can take images for awesome looking shots all right without wasting any more time let's look at capturing hdr settings what are the settings you need to change to take some really nice hdr looking images i will also show you uh, let's say you bought the camera and if you just set some fiddle around with the settings like exposure and all and click a picture how that image is going to come and when you take particular HDR image how that image is going to transform. So let's look at it. So guys as you can see we have this HDR indication here that means the current setting enabled is HDR and whenever I click the shutter button all it processes the three images combines into one and it gives you an HDR image. Now how to get that HDR image and what is the exposure that you want to set? The first thing you want to do is to go to menu here, press on the menu button and here on the settings tab that is first tab and I think it's in third page, yeah. First tab, third page, you have the picture style and at the end you get the HDR mode. Just tap on it, by default it will be disabled. So disable HDR, this is what you will see by default. So just tap on it once. And now there are several settings here you can, again based on the scenes, based on situation, like if you are capturing color photos, if you are capturing fine art. Uh, so all sorts of that you can change it here. Now first thing you want to do is enable HDR, right? So auto HDR, again it detects the uh, exposure and then takes the images itself. Now what I suggest to you is, if you are in say like middle of the day or evening time uh, where the light is low, then you can choose plus or minus 2 EV. The next one is effect. Now this I would suggest you keep it to art standard. Uh, if you keep it naturally, you won't get that HDR-ish image. Again, if you love that kind of thing, it's fine. You can select natural. Uh, there is art vivid, there is art bold, there is art embossed. Again, these are artistic effects. You can try it out for yourself on different scenarios and where it will suit. You can use that in that particular setting. Now I'm going to choose art standard. Continuous HDR, that means like I showed you earlier, there was HDR symbol here. That means whatever shots you try to take, it takes in HDR format. Again, if you just want to take single shot HDR, it turns back to normal automatically. Then you can choose one shot only. So this is the setting you want to set. Uh, for now, for tutorial, I'm going to capture HDR images, right? So I'll keep it to continuous HDR. Auto image align, I suggest you keep it to enable because if there is any shake, it tries to align itself. Again, it does a very nice job in doing that. So just try to enable it. Again, just take back. Now we have enabled plus or minus two exposure value. I'll just half press the shutter button over here. So we will switch to live view mode so that you can see. I have pressed the start stop here as you can see wherever I tap it tries to focus as you can see there is a meter here exposure value meter if I half press and hold the shutter button it will show you where the exposure is right now it is just 0.5 stop more or say 0.3 stop more by increasing the shutter speed so I'll increase to 500 to 640 again you will see that we are in the perfect exposure setting ISO is set to 250 now I'll go ahead and take a picture you will see how the results come out here so I'll just frame, I'll frame the composition. So this is the composition I feel is nice. All right, let's click a picture then. 
as you can see as you heard that shutter sound noise so it captured three images with different exposure because i have set it to plus or minus 2 ev what it does is it captures in zero ev one image it captures minus 2 ev one image and plus 2 ev another image that means there are three images and it stacks them together in order to get that hdr looking image so this is the final result as you can see the image is pretty sharp as there was no shake and the shutter speed is uh, really high and that gives us very sharp looking images for especially landscape now what i'll do is i'll increase the plus or minus 2 ev if i want that extra brightness here i'll just reduce shutter speed to 500 so that it gives me a little bit of exposure, a little bit of brightness as you can call in layman's term. Now again where to focus, in order to check the focus you can use this plus or minus zoom function. So I'll just double press. Now again it's not working in HDR. So what you can basically do is uh, turn off the HDR quickly here by going to menu. I'll just disable the HDR. Then I'll go back here, make sure the focus is perfect. So I'll zoom, double press this. As you can see how much zoom we have got here. Where I want to focus the image, I'll just half press. As you can hear the beep confirmation that it is focused properly. I'll just go back to menu again, enable the HDR, plus or minus. This time we will make it plus or minus 3 EV. And I'll show you how the image come out. So again, like I said, plus or minus 3 EV, I've changed the shutter speed to 500. Let's click a picture now. Since this was with plus or minus 3 EV, now you'll see how much detail it has gathered and this is a very much very identical HDR image. So this is a hardcore HDR image as you can see. It tries to gather pretty much every detail that's uh, hidden inside shadows as well as highlights to give you that extra detail. So this is how you can set the settings and capture HDR image in camera. Now again there are several other techniques that you can apply and let's say you can use different effects to get that nice looking images as well. Again it's a trial and error method. I just wanted to show you in camera HDR image how you want to take. If I disable HDR and take the image how it is going to look. Again I'll show you I'm just disabling the HDR here. Now let's click a picture. Same setting everything is same. Now as you will see that not a lot of clouds have been covered here because that's highlight that is blown here and a little bit of shadows is covered of course because I have focused here so the exposure is like 0.3 stop extra. So out of the box you get that HDR looking images. So guys I hope this video helped you in capturing amazing looking HDR images for these kind of tutorials, these kinds of videos. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and support my work and support my channel. Um, yeah so if you like this video hit that like button and do share it with your friends so that it helps make me content more and more. And what video would you like to see further? let me know in the comment section down below i'll make videos about that um, all right see you all in another one till then take care everyone bye bye